All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice to see you again after a long weekend. And this is, we have two weeks to go. Can you imagine this, how time flies? I can't believe it. Anyway, I will start with a um, note of solidarity. The President of the General Assembly has expressed solidarity with the victims and all of those who are being affected by Hurricane Dorian. In a tweet, Ms. Faria Fernandez Pinoza regretted the destruction and devastation caused by the hurricane in the Bahamas, which has so far caused five deaths and left at least 20 people injured. The PGA has urged the international community to stand ready to help. She's monitoring the situation very closely as the hurricane moves towards the south and to the east coast of the United States, threatening more havoc and destruction. And the PJ has arrived in The Hague this morning for the last official visit of her presidency. The PJ is taking part in the Second World Meeting of Societies for International Law and in meetings with members of the government of the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Shortly after arriving, she held separate bilateral meetings with the Minister for Foreign Trade and Development Cooperation, Her Excellency, Ms. Sigrid Kach, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency, Mr. Steph Bloch. She also held an informal conversation with a group of women leaders. Before delivering her remarks at the event on current challenges to international law, the role of societies of international law, Ms. Espinosa met with the president of the International Court of Justice, His Excellency Abdul Hawi Ahmed Yusuf. Previously to The Hague, the, G the GA president visited Slovenia, where she spoke at the BLED Strategic Forum at the invitation of the country's president, His Excellency Mr. Borut Pahor. She also met several members of the government, took part in the presidential talk, and in a conversation with young participants of the forum. After concluding both trips, the PJ will return to New York tomorrow. Her delegation includes an advisor, a coordination officer, and her personal assistant. All travel costs are being covered by the PJ's Office Trust Fund for this trip to the Netherlands. And finally, as you know, on Friday, the PGA welcomed climate activist Greta Thunberg to the United Nations headquarters. Mrs. Spinoza received in her office Ms. Thunberg from Sweden and Ms. Alexandria Bilia Senor and Ms. Chitia Bastida from the United States, who also advocate for climate action. Ms. Thunberg told the PGA that she was in the United Nations in order to reinforce her appeal that the climate summit must be about actions and also must be a turning point. The PJ was also mentioned to the group, her work as a young professional in the Amazon forest as they talked about the forest. Following a conversation in Mrs. Spinoza's office, the PJ accompanied Ms. Thunberg and her group to the G Hall and explained how her work is done in the plenary. This is all from us. Do you have anything else for today? You don't? <clears throat> okay, so I would say thank you very much, and I will see you tomorrow. And as you know, I don't have any, any trip announcements anymore. That was the last one, so she'll be back tomorrow to New York. Thank you very much, and the staff will follow. Thanks. <laughs>